Welcome back to the second channel. So a lot of people hit me up and they're like, oh, can you review like heavy intensive games on older iPhones? And I'm like, bro, you already know. I already talked so much about older iPhones that I might as well do these type of videos. So we're going to be looking at Fortnite, the latest version as of right now, and seeing how it holds up on the iPhone SC on iOS 13. Now, I imagine this video is going to be super, super quick. And funny enough, before this even loads, like I was actually playing Fortnite by accident, like like 20 minutes ago, I like opened it just to see if it was loading, get through the pages, and I was in a game and nobody had killed me, and I was like on the bottom three, which was really surprising. So that was probably the closest I've ever been to like actually winning Fortnite, and I suck at this game. So and right off the bat, you could have seen that the loading time took a little while. I don't know if that had something to do with the game itself, but let's go ahead and drop down and see what we can do. And I'll be honest, the graphics are actually really good. Obviously, I've you know reviewed Fortnite so many times. The actual gameplay is actually much smoother than I thought it was going to be. If I go ahead and move around, you can see it's a little glitchy, you know, it's it's nothing too bad though. Let me go ahead and hurry up and drop down. Now I might die within like 20 seconds, if that's the case, I'll just restart. But as you can see, graphics wise, it's really not that bad. Obviously graphics are great. You can see it's not glitching up that much either, which is something that I was really happy about. So hopefully I can drop down and pick up some weapons. Now I'm not like a game commentator, so I'm not going to like commentate the game. Oh, now it's starting to glitch up a little bit as you guys can see. Yeah, as soon as I dropped down, it was like glitching up quite a bit, which was really surprising. So, I need to hurry up and grab some weapons. And dude, Loki, I totally forgot how to play this game too. What is going on with the screen? And right off the bat, you can see quite, it's not it's not too bad glitchiness. My phone is heating up like crazy though. That was, that's something that I saw right off the gate. I'm surprised about how much it's heating up. And it's heating up on the top, uh, about the top half of the phone. Oh, what the heck just happened? All right, this guy must suck too then. So if I go ahead and start mining some of this stuff, let's see what happens. Oh man, I'm getting shot at. Okay, let's go and knock that out. And yeah, right out the gate, I'm seeing a lot of glitchiness, which is nothing too, you know, nothing that I wasn't already expecting. If I go and hop out, let's see if I can jump on here. For some reason, my thing is like really hot. I don't know why that's the case. It, usually it didn't get that hot on like my iPhone 7 Plus when I tested it last time. Okay, I'm getting shot at, I'm about to die. Okay, here we go, there might be something up here. And like I said, graphics wise, it's still really good and I'm about to die. <laughs> Dude, I suck at this game so bad. Dude, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Yep, I am dead. I know I'm dead. Okay, okay, okay. Dude, how did I not die? That was so surprising. This might be the quickest video ever, but as you guys can see, the graphic-wise, I mean, it's still not bad. I mean, it was never bad on this thing, and I think this is the mid-tier settings, too. It's not even like the, on the lowest setting, which is surprising. But the first thing I was able to see was the phone heating up, so that's right out the gate. If you're someone who has an iPhone SE and you're playing Fortnite, you might notice that your phone might heat up a little bit. It's not the end-all be-all, but it is something kind of annoying. You know, I wish it really wasn't the case. That is something you'll have to consider when you're playing Fortnite on a phone. And I don't think I have any other apps in the background as you can see. And that's the type of performance that you will get if you're playing a game of Fortnite. Now, I'll go ahead and try to keep finishing off, but I think I'm going to die. And as you can see, if I like maneuver around, you can see the glitchiness in the display. It's a lot of glitchiness going around. If I go ahead and hop out of here, let's see if anything changes. And as you can see, I guess I died already. <laughs> That's pretty much the case. That's pretty much the gameplay you will receive if you have an iPhone SE. It wasn't that bad, actually. It was actually really good. It was actually pretty decent. This is technically the older iPhone, the oldest iPhone that supports Fortnite. This and the iPhone 6S. The gameplay was pretty good. There were a lot of glitched frames, though. Even when I was replaying this, you guys saw that glitched up too, which was really weird. But overall, it was completely usable. I had a pretty good time with it. So, so that's Fortnite on the iPhone SE on iOS 13.3 right now. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, let me know in the comment section below. Hit that like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber that we get really does count, so it means so much if you guys could hit that. Also check out the other links down in the description as well. My Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel, all those things are linked down below. I'd really appreciate it if you guys could check it out. More importantly than everything else, hello every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, everyone.